Hello, my friends and everyone. Welcome back to Ark Scorched Earth. Today we return, and today I would like to welcome a new member of the family. Everyone, say hello to this wonderful, gorgeous Lamantrio. We got ourselves another one. Oh, look at this little perch you can park up on. See, direwolves can't get them up here. I like this spot. But after some time, we got ourselves another Lamantrio following the hallucinogenic nature of last episode. Our uh, caravan master friend seems to be uh, probably sleeping somewhere in a bush, so I don't want to wake him up too early. We're going to go off and go on a solo adventure today, and that solo adventure... I really want to get ourselves a vulture, because a vulture is something new, it is something we can tame. And uh, I really want to see if we can't get our hands on one. But first, we got to name up the new Lamantria, so... Lamantria, let me, uh, let, let's get you a name, buddy. Alright, let's get you, let's change your name. Since uh, Venomoth was obviously too weak, we need a stronger moth. So Mothra will be this moth's name. Mothra, are you prepared? Are you ready? Are we taking Ron Burgundy with us? Eh, you know, yeah, I mean, we got, mm, let's say, let's take Burgundy with today's adventures. You know, he wasn't in the last one, because we were in Dreamland last episode. Hopefully you guys, wait, he had a level. How do, how do I get him off my shoulder again? I forgot how you, like, tell him to bugger off. Yeah, you know, he'll stay on my shoulder for a while then. Uh, but like I was saying, ooh, this guy's got a level. Let's throw him some stamina. We want the max stamina available on these guys. Anyways, welcome back. Uh, ooh, you know what? I kind of want to go over there, see what that has. Apparently, the moth can't actually, like, when the moth sprints, it is actually a very... It, dude, this moth is so slow. I don't know what I was expecting. It is a very much so beginner's mount. Also, I'm probably ridiculously heavy on it. Yeah, I'm really close to the weight limit. Is there anything I can drop? Let's drop the extra stones. I'm keeping the clay for sure. Uh, anything else? Uh, okay, that's good enough. I mean, he's a little bit quicker. I want to perch myself up on here, see what's up here. Use this as a little, uh, area to see how everything goes. Oh, do we have all the, uh, look at how beautifully perched we are. Beautiful view of everywhere around us. Mountains not too far away. We'll probably venture over that way sometime soon. But now we look for vultures. And vultures are going to be little bit, little flying fellas, right? Actually, I kind of want to go. Let's check out what's over here. See if we can't get something cool. Uh, then another cool thing, right, is that we do have the uh, like a small mountain range over there. That might have some metal for us. I'm going to go over there, see if there is any metal-related paraphernalia. Got to watch out for Argents. But it looks like there might be that. How am I overheating? I have desert clothing. Come on, game. Have a little bit of mercy on me. Uh, let's make sure the Lamantria. I'm going to throw you, buddy. I want you to be on passive. Because I don't want bad things to come out of you. Because there's a good chance that that will happen. What do we have here? Water well blueprint and a tent blueprint. I already know both of those things. So that doesn't help too much. And we're going to continue exploring. Like I said, I want to check out some mountain range. Oh, that's a dire Oh, that's a couple dire wolves. See? The good news is we can fly away to safety. Until the Argentavis show up. And that is when things get ugly. But by the looks of it, we are overheating a little. There might be some... I wonder if there are any rock elementals here. I do know that rock elementals kind of disguise themselves as rocks, so I wonder... Could there be a rock elemental in our midst? I mean, there's there's an opportunity, right? If one of these is a rock elemental, I'm going to poop myself, but I think we're safe for the time being. Like I said, we want to watch out, make sure there aren't any uh, Argentavi, Argentavises. There are a couple. There's also Carnos. Oh, what's up? We haven't seen Carnos here yet. And there are crystals and metal up here. So good news. Eventually we will be able to get the crystal and metal which we seek. So at the very least we have discovered that. I'm trying to like kite this guy in a certain way so I can like land up here. Regen our stamina. There's obsidian as well. Dude, there's a lot. God damn. We got obsidian. I don't want that guy to get up here because I'm kind of scared. We got a couple. Oh, okay. Okay, let's start flying again. Yeah, I'm in this mountain range. We got obsidian, we got crystals, we got metal. I don't see rock elementals, but I'm sure we'll find some of those eventually. That Carno really wants us. Well, too bad. He can't have me. I'm off limits for now. Then over that way, I think we have the dunes. That's where we can travel if we want to encounter some of the scarier stuff. But we got a small little, small little hill slash mountain range here, so that's kind of good. I'm going to head over here land here and then a little little detour aside I just want to check that out so I know where to find some metal now 
Might be a bit risque, a bit dangerous, but we know where to find it. Now we just gotta figure out where to find our friendly neighborhood vultures. And also for the vultures, we need spoiled meat. I have no spoiled meat on me. Oh god, I hear the bees! I hear the bees! No, 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 get away from me! Oh no. We've been poisoned. God damn it. Oh, we can't really attack those things too well either. Well, we're gonna have to run away. I'm gonna run home, grab some spoiled meat, and then when I get that, I'll let you guys know so we can hopefully get to taming this vulture. Alright, guys and gals, after a little bit of looking, not super far, actually, I, I should have looked here first, I went like, I went looking all over the place before I actually thought to look here, but found ourselves a little group of vultures, so I want to park this guy somewhere safe, that's the one thing I'm scared of, I'm going to put him right on the edge, alright, and then hopefully, you know, nothing too bad happens, hopefully I don't get flung off the edge, I was kind of scared of that, and you, you're going to stay there for now, Mothra. I'm gonna go try to convince these vultures here that I'm friendly. So if I'm not mistaken, the vulture tame is a passive tame involving spoiled meat. All you gotta do, get close to a vulture, you gotta feed them some spoiled meat, and then they should be pretty cool with you. So here we got a 17. I'm gonna, yeah, let's, uh, there you go. Take some of my, I, I was collecting berries instead of feeding you meat. Get back here, vulture. I got meat for you, buddy. Look at that. I can feed him meat, and he's already like halfway tame. So, wow. Vultures are actually, this is going to be way quicker. We're going to have to find something else to do today, too. So once you feed them some spoiled meat, just back off a little bit. Be kind of chill. It can be kind of hard if they start flying away. Because then it's like, you can't really, like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of hard to hit them here. But you can hit them that, hopefully. Like, I don't want to anger them and have them attack me. I don't think they attack you unless you do something to, like, piss off their ancestors or something like that. Uh, that guy's not hungry. And then is this one a higher level? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a pack of vultures, man. And the cool thing is, too, these guys, they can ride your shoulder just as well. So after you feed them, you just back off a little bit, let them have their time, enjoy the food. And keep in mind, this is a five times taming server, or five times taming world. So these guys are really quick tames when it's going to take me like two meat. It might take you guys probably around ten or so. Uh, I mean, for the lower level ones, probably not, but voila! Welcome to the family, my vulture. And it's going to be a pretty big family, so in the comment section down below, you guys... Um, we're gonna need a lot of suggestions. I'm probably just taming up these three for now because I don't want to look too much harder for more of them when they all have kind of the same purpose. Where'd that last one go? There you are. So, three names for the vultures. Comment section down below. Let me know what you guys want to see these guys be named as. And now, their purpose, of course, is they can be little... They're kind of like Dimorphodons, pretty much. I don't know how strong they are when it comes to attacking things, but we could probably turn them into decent battle mounts. But, you can also perch them on your shoulder, but the thing is, their special ability is they will decay meat very quickly. So if you need spoiled meat for narcotics or something, you have like a stack of meat, throw it in there. You don't have to like split your meat up or anything, you just give it to them, and then they got you covered. So, now I got my little vulture family, and uh, the, the flying portion of our pack expands. And now let's look at their stats real quick, grab a peek at those. Like 200 health, it's not even that awful but do i have any meat no i don't we just have the spoiled meat i was gonna say we could show this off but uh spoiled meat they don't do anything to spoiled meat if i could kill something i don't really like if there's something easy to kill i might do this but other than that so they pretty much are just like a pack of dimorphodons and i don't know can i pick one up is that is that a thing uh, I don't think I can because I got this guy on my sholdder and I don't know how to get him off is it like it's not holdy it's not double tappy I always forget how we get them to jump off but nonetheless here lads and lassies we have the vulture pack look at that we got a pack of vultures look at how easy that was so even you yourself you can get them and instead of a dimorphodon we have to knock it out you just tame them up real nice and easy and uh, I mean they will swarm things when you attack them so if you could get a big enough vulture pack like you could do the dimorphodon strategy of swarming things and you got the potential to do some big damage, but now here if we start flying off and these vultures actually follow us, we're going to have a cool, look at that, look at that. We got the whole flying pack here. Look at the way they disperse up there. Okay, come on. Get over here, vultures. Look pretty, damn it. Aha! So awesome. Look at that. Anyways, let's go bring these guys back to base, get them situated, maybe start putting them to work and... I mean, since we we got the gold, that was way quicker than I thought it'd be. 
In the meantime, we could potentially go and try to tame up a terror bird. That's going to take some meat. Shouldn't be too long of a tame. But uh, I'm thinking maybe we go tame up a terror bird in the meantime. Or... Dire Wolf, I feel like we got to dedicate an episode to. Since they're going to be not the easiest tame in the world. And it's going to take a lot of tranks and whatnot. We also need to make sure we got the meat necessary. But I'm going to go ahead and bring the vultures back here. Just have them kind of chill. But yeah, in the comment section down below, leave some comments, suggest some names for these guys. You know, if you have any ideas at all, go ahead, leave them. Because, I mean, I'll go ahead and feature you guys if you are picked. And even if you aren't picked as, like, the go-to name, if, if, like, you could like some comments, that type of stuff. That let, that helps me know, like, what comments are awesome. Then you could also leave the same name, even if it's already been left and has a lot of likes. Because I try to post multiple comments of people who uh, have the same idea in mind. But I'll go ahead, toss those, let them chill. And we got... A bunch of vultures. Highest level 1 to 25. He should be getting a level soon. He's the one holding all the spoiled meat. But in terms of meat here, bolas are going to be our friend when it comes to taming up like a terror bird. Terror bird? I think it's going to be cool. It's pretty fast and it has the cool glide feature so we can make that kind of our quick mount, right? I'm thinking that's the game plan. Problem is we have no food whatsoever so we might need to go and murder something real quick. So uh, I say we do that. And I know this is dangerous. I'm going out. Without a, and eh, I think I'm gonna go out with the help of something. I'll bring camera up out, right? Camera up is like bay when it comes to safety. And then we of course do have our friend on our shoulder helping out, and we're gonna have to protect this guy after we knock him out. So there's gonna be some deadly things, and I don't know. We'll see what would tame. We'll see what will tame. I'm just saying terror bird because that'll be the easiest. And if it's a bigger tame, I would like to get some uh, ayudame from my friendly caravan trader taco however let's see i see a dire wolf in the distance and a thorny dragon if there's just one dire wolf like maybe i go for it like i might actually go for that that's just one dire wolf first we're gonna knock out these scorpions use them for their meat get over here scorpions yeah yeah Let's make sure that we don't get... There we go. Start hitting the two for ones. Gotta hit the two fours. There you go. One more hit. That left scorpion should be done, though. And if we get this guy a couple of times... Oh, this is, a, this is a tougher scorpion. He's not even taking damage yet. All right. I'm gonna... Let's go ahead. Start doing some damage there. I got my pike. Come on, help me out, buddy. Actually, no. I don't even need help. I'll just take him out my way. He needs help. Help's overrated. Bow. That's a normal bow. I'll take the arrows, though, and what about you? I'm, I'm that's just a body dragger. All right. Oh, got to collect their meat. All right, and now that our meat's collected, let's make sure we just have it shown in this guy so it doesn't spoil too quick. Where's all of our narcotic? It's on, okay, it's on us. This is all the narcotic we got. This is the moment. This is do or die. Actually, uh, really quick, let's, uh, let's drink some water out of this guy. This is do or die, lads. Because if we don't do, then we probably die. Now, will the dire wolf... First, I just want to make sure this is the only dire wolf around. So we don't get ambushed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can hit him with the bola. Once we hit him with the bola, we should be safe. So, you, are you on... He's on neutral. So if we get attacked, he'll start attacking, but... Alright, get over here, dire wolf. Come on, my friend. I got a surprise for you. There you go. Nice. All right. Now we got to start pumping him full. Oh, no. What the hell, Thorny? Okay, JK. JK, this is not good. This is not good. I forgot about the Thorny Dragon that was right next to him. Where is my thought process? Oh, no. This is going to be annoying. Now we got to deal with the Thorny Dragon. The Dire Wolf's going to break free. I'll try to get him again, though. Like, see if we can't bolt re -bola him. Okay, I'm going to stay on top of my Morella Tops here for safety. I should probably aim a little bit better. Aim higher, come on. Or lower. Okay, now he's running away. Only one Trank arrow in him. He should come back. When he comes back, I'm going to try to rebola him. Redo. We're going to redo this. We're going to make it work. Okay, I think he just pulled a Houdini and legitimately disappeared. Come on, come back, buddy. I know you want to. Charge at me, boy. Okay, in the meantime, can we get another bola? We need some hide. Come on, you goddamn dire wolf. I know you want me, and I want you. Dude, he's literally disappeared. There he is. He's running at us. All right. 
Good news. There we go. We got him. Let's get him full of these Trank Arrows. And hopefully we can knock him out. And then we're going to have ourselves an awesome tame. It's a level 1 dire. Ah, oh, it's a level 1. Whatever. It's better than nothing. We just want to knock it out. Okay, that's an easy knockout. At the very least, this shouldn't be too long of a tame. And I mean, it's a pretty safe spot. Nothing should be getting us by surprise. And time to start pulling the narcs in this and hopefully adding a dire wolf to the pack. Really low level dire wolf, but still, odds are it's going to be stronger than a bunch of our other stuff. Maybe we can level them up a little bit. Like, you know, we got some potential here. So, uh, bonus levels don't matter at all with this guy. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just going to focus on keeping him down under, not even going to worry about prime meat. I will, I'll go collect this guy for his chitin, but other than that, I'm going to sit here, you know, wait through that, through the fun of just chilling and not feeding him some food, and I'll let you guys know when we're close to having a tame. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Do you guys see, do you literally, like, what, uh, come on. Come on, do you guys see what I'm seeing? Is this a joke? Really? Really hard? Well, as you can see, we are about to finish taming up our direwolf. We should have been finished, but no, he needs he needs that last little breadcrumb in his tummy to fully trust us. So, uh, until that happens, we are going to tame up a dire wolf unless another pack shows up and attacks us, which honestly might happen. But, uh, yeah, we tamed up three vultures. I told you guys to leave names for those. Leave another comment if you haven't left a comment yet. If you got a name for our dire wolf, oh my god, it's like the tame apocalypse today. We're taming everything up, boys and girls. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. We're, we're about to have ourselves a new buddy. We got to continue leveling up. We got to get, I think, rocket launchers are the best way of taming rock elementals. You have no clue how badly I want a rock elemental. They just seem so awesome. You can barely damage them unless you use like explosives. You can tame them with cannons too, but it's kind of hard. You have to hit them in the head. I don't know, but welcome the dire wolf to the family. And uh, what warmer of a way to welcome him than with you guys? Comment section down below. Oh no, didn't mean to do that. Comment section down below. Leave those name suggestions. Like those name suggestions and do all that jazz but in the meantime we got oh look at the dire wolf look at him what are his base stats here so base stats wise not too strong 300 health 260 stamina but he should be able to do some decent damage and i want to go attack something I'm, I'm gonna go attack let's attack a water jug bug shall we i say we do he's got a good amount of stamina which is kind of nice let's just see how quickly he can take out a jug bug there we go so you can two hit a jug bug pretty much like our pike not too shabby. I'm also going to very quickly drink from the dead jug bug. What, the, what is that noise? Oh, is that me drinking? That was a disgusting noise. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, well, there you have it, boys and girls. We are riding our dire wolf to victory. And I want to get I want to get a cool look at all the stuff we've gotten today. So, first things first, let's get everybody up here. Come on, let's go. Andale, chicos. Andale, andale. And by chicos, I mainly mean camera camera up come on man i i believe in you you can make it up here come on okay no i'm, I'm gonna i'm i'm gonna try to do this all right there we go i got him on the right track somehow and uh also i figured okay no never mind okay you you no you you stop he's following the dire wolf no 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 okay i'm gonna hop on the dire wolf i'm gonna tell you to stop moving i'm gonna get up there with the dire wolf since uh, obviously <laughs> it's not that easy for some reason. I'm gonna bring the dire wolf in, then we will go get... Actually, no, I'm gonna tell him... Uh, I'm scared that if he follows, he's gonna mess it up. Also, it is freezing outside, but... Camelosaurus, come on, buddy. Let's get up here. Let's return the pack, and we've added to the pack quite a bit today. Maybe not the biggest additions, but we do have a lot of additions, to say the least. So let's hop back on the dire wolf. Also, what's what's the weight capacity on the dire wolf? I feel like it's gotta be pretty good, cause like, we have a lot of weight on us, he's moving pretty well. 170, not too shabby. Well, Mr. Dire Wolf, I'm happy you don't need a saddle, that makes this way easier. I wish you were high level, but I can't complain. Maybe we can make a pack of them. Get some mate boosted going on, but uh, there you have it. We got the dire wolf. Hello, dire wolf. Oh, aren't you majestic? So, from the same creatures that once slaughtered us and made our lives hard, we've now welcomed into our pack. And uh, our pack is expanding. I like it. I like it. Okay, so let's show off that feature real quick, right? We got 16 meat spoils in a minute. 
We throw it in there. Throw it in there. Uh, hello? Okay, he, do he doesn't want raw meat for some reason. What? Do you not want my raw meat, dude? <laughs> like, everyone wants my raw meat. Come on, come on. St stop being so, like, not accepting. Okay. For some reason, he doesn't want raw meat. Maybe he has to, like, collect the meat and it automatically spoils. Because, uh, yeah. Although, spoiled meat does take ridiculously long while it's in there. I guess. But I guess maybe that's what you have to do. I don't know. That's weird. That's weird. Either way, it's still, they're hopefully going to be a good attack mob. We're going to up that health. Honestly, I should, I should be help up in their, uh, their attack damage. I'm going to do that. Make their melee damage ridiculous. I mean, if I lose them, they're just vultures, man. We can get more, but we want them to be big hitters. Anyways, that's going to probably go ahead and do it for me for this episode. Sorry it's not maybe the most action-packed in the world, but we got a lot accomplished today. We got a dire wolf, which is going to be huge for traversing this place. We got a couple vultures. Maybe we'll get a terror bird. I don't know if that'll be better than a dire wolf. And maybe we'll go explore to the dunes soon. The dunes, that's where, like, death worms and stuff are. But I want to go find a rock elemental, see what an encounter with them is like. And then uh, hopefully start scheming where a good place to tame one up might be. And hopefully our caravan master, he returns from wherever he might be taking a piss out in the world. And he'll return and we'll be good to go. But other than that, that's going to go ahead and do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye my friends.